Hello friends, warm welcome to all to the channel World of Zoology. We'll start paper 2 and unit 2 biotechnology in that scope and achievement of biotechnology in the field of fishery and animal husbandry in today's lecture. Scope and achievement of biotechnology will consider in today's lecture with respect to the first point that is introduction, then definition, and then the achievement with respect to the two fields fishery and animal husbandry. First point is the introduction from the time immemorial, that is from the ancient time. Biotechnology have been used in the kitchen for various cooking methods like marination, caramelization, food preservation, using naturally occurring substances like pickling, fermentation and tendering meat using papaya extract. Also, um, conversion of uh, milk into curd and milk products which are also used in the industries dealing with the food biotechnology. Biological systems at various levels ranging from single molecule to molecular assemblies, cells and the cell organelles such as cell membrane, mitochondria, um, protoplast or the ribosomes etc. Tissues and organs to whole organism themselves have been used in the various techniques of the biotechnology. With the advent of such techniques, multidisciplinary stream of biotechnology was developed. The term biotechnology was coined by Hungarian agricultural engineer Karl Irke in 1919. Now we will consider the definition of the term biotechnology. The Office of Technology of United States have stated the definition of biotechnology as any technique that uses living organisms or substances from those organisms to make or modify a product, to improve plant or animals, or to develop microorganisms for specific uses. The second definition, which is given by Interdepartmental Committee on Biotechnology, UK, as the application of scientific and engineering principles to the processing of materials by biological agents to provide goods and services. Today, with the growing knowledge of various branches of the science mentioned earlier, that are encompassed by the biotechnology, it is needless to say that with the blending of the pure sciences including botany, zoology, chemistry, physics, biotechnology has scope in wide range of manufacturing and service industries and can prove beneficial for national development in a developing country like India. It can be important to that can bring about sustainable development, ensuring food, nutrition, then health, environment, and livelihood security. An organized approach in harnessing the power of biotechnology would give a major impetus to social uh, socio-economic progress. Basic research on all aspects of molecular biology, genetics, genomics, proteomics and neuroscientists could be utilized for benefit, uh, benefit of mankind as follows. To develop new vaccines for diagnostic purpose, drugs and drug delivery system development, to produce a large number of low-cost affordable small proteins and therapeutics using plant and animals as a bioreactors engineer crops with enhanced nutritional status, biotic and abiotic resistance that is living and non-living, introduce precision farming, 
with new quality traits for productivity enhancement to develop environmentally friendly that is eco friendly technology packages for pollution control biodiversity conservation and restoration of damaged ecosystems now we will consider the landmark landmark achievements of the biotechnology in the two fields one that is fishery and second animal husbandry first the fishery the field of aquatic biotechnology has offered many applications to the methods in aquaculture whereby a wide range of fascinating development have emerged these include the use of genetic engineering to produce disease resistant strains of the oyster and vaccines against virus that infect salmon and other fin fishes cloning the genes for growth hormone that is gh is an excellent example of how gene discovery process can lead to advances in aquatic biotechnology transgenic salmon have been created that overproduce growth hormone leading to extraordinary growth rate compared with the normal thus decreasing the time and expense required to grow salmon to a marketable size that means it minimizes the time which is required for the growth and also uh, the growth of the salmon takes place within a shorter period to marketable size aquaponic technology from the well walhem is a technology which is the company engaged in research development and commercialization of products that aims to increase the productivity of aquaculture the company has developed hybrid salmon trout and tilapia designed to grow faster than traditional fish their hybrid atlantic salmon incorporates a gene from a Chinook salmon Aquavonti have patented and trademark this fish as the Aqua Advantage salmon a sterile atlantic salmon female that can grow to a market size in half time of the conventional salmon the US Food and Drug Administration that is FDA have an ongoing review of aquavonti technology application as the first genetically modified animal to enter the united states food supply in september 2010 an fda advisory panel indicated indicated that the fish is highly unlikely to cause any significant effect on the environment and that it is as safe as food from conventional atlantic salmon because this was the first experience experience of the experiment to use a genetically modified animal as a food a great deal of research is dedicated to identifying a new gene learning about the environmental factors that control gene expression such as effect of extreme temperature and deep ocean pressure identifying the molecular basis of unique adaptation and studying genetic and molecular factors such as hormones that control the reproduction growth and development of aquatic organisms in addition to identifying novel genes many research groups are involved in identifying mutations associated with diseases in fish eventually such information will be useful in the development of disease free brooder stocks of fish with selected characteristics this is the regular size salmon and the second one that is gm salmon means genetically modified salmon with larger size that can achieve within a shorter period to a marketable size therefore the next uh, slide 
is the comparison between the norm normal form and transgenic salmon. How, the, how can we compare these two on the basis of the weight and length? In case of the genetically modified salmon, the weight is more than double of the normal salmon. The weight is 6.6 .6 pounds, whereas the weight of the farm salmon is 2.8 pounds. Whereas the length is 24 inches in case of genetically modified salmon and the length of the farm salmon that is normal salmon is 13 inches and both fishes are 18 months but the length and width is increased in case of the genetically modified salmon. Another most successful example of identification of novel gene that has a very promising application in fishery is the identification of genes of the antifreeze proteins that is AFPS means antifreeze proteins that have been isolated from the fishes like ocean pout, herring and others. Antifreeze proteins are cryoprotective proteins that protect the living organism in a very variety of ways or various ways. Antifreeze proteins are being used to create transgenic fishes with enhanced resistance to cold temperature and freezing. For example, in case of the salmon, they cannot produce antifreeze proteins or the molecules and thus they die when exposed to near freezing water. Antifreeze protein gene promoter sequences are also being used in recombinant DNA technology to stimulate expression of the transgenes under cold water conditions, thus producing antifreeze proteins with cold hardy transgenic strains of the fishes. Means here, along with the antifreeze protein gene, promoter gene sequence, the sequences are also introduced in the particular fish so as to increase the uh, capacity of the fish to resist the uh, extremities of the temperature. Manipulating number of chromosomes thus producing polyploids such as triploids, tetraploids that is 4n, 3n etc. of commercial fishes is yet another example. Dr. T. Z. Pandian from the School of Biological Sciences Madurai Kamaraj University, a recipient of the prestigious um, award, Bhatnagar Award, Shanti Saru Award in 1984, produced viable hybrids of the fishes using chemically and thermally induced polyploidy. Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, that is CIFA, administered by the Indian Council of the Agricultural Research has successfully conducted a project on selective breeding of the rohu. Under this project, Jayanti rohu, a genetically improved rohu with a higher growth efficiency, was developed in 1997 from a broader gene, based, uh, that gene base consisting of a five riverine, that is a Ganga, Yamuna, Satlaj, Brahmaputra and Gomati and one farm stock through selective breeding. It has been so named to mark the 15th anniversary of Indian independence and therefore the name is Swarna Jayanti and has been released to several private and public hatchery owners so that they can pro provide better quality seeds to the fish farmers. Morphologically, it is similar to rohu, but grows much faster than the normal rohu. Presently, improved rohu seed is being disseminated to 10 states in Mah India and more than 10 million seed disseminated every year from CIFA di directly. Now the second point that is achievement in the field of the animal husbandry. The increased knowledge and success of transgenesis have found its scope in the field of animal husbandry to improve the productivity of the livestock. Here you, here you must remember that 
means the tranching meaning of the term tranching that is new new gene which is introduced in the animal as stated about transgene is a genetic engineering technique that is transgenesis is the genetic engineering technique to produce an animal breed which has improved characteristic from the economic point of view like increase milk or the pull yield in livestock increase growth rate and disease resistance in the fish are the uh, uh, another points one of the successful experiment of the transgenesis has been the development of transgenic bull hermann that carries an transgene for lactoferrin which is a human gene responsible for a higher iron content essential for healthy development of infants thus the cow that are fathered by this hermann bull are able to produce milk better suited for children dairy industry has employed the transgenesis techniques also for the development of the cattle resistant to the disease like mastitis developed by the researchers at us department of agriculture in maryland these cows are created Uh, these cows so created are protected against the inflammation of the milk glands caused by the bacterial infections such as staphylococcus aureus dna fingerprinting techniques has been applied for identification and isolation of genes for useful characters in the next animal that is silkworm rhesus the andhra pradesh state sericulture research and development institute with technical collaboration of the center for dna fingerprinting and diagnostics hyderabad has developed a virus resistant transgenic silk uh, silkworm for the first time in the world under the seri biotechnology research lab program this silkworm would help in stabilizing silk yield level by reducing the uncertainties like viral outbreaks and this research has also helped in understanding the traits which induce silkworm to eat only on mulberry leaves the advantage of developing viral resistant silkworms is that the susceptible silkworms will become tolerant to viral disease so that their survival rate cocoon quality also the quantity silk yield will increase in turn farmers in curb also will increase thank you for watching this video if you like the video do like share the video for the benefit of the maximum students and sus subscribe the channel world of zoology for the notification of the next video